Hello and welcome to this video on the Molten Modular Motion Meter, a classic modular utility expanded with some lovely blinking lights. Let's check out what's to come. Motion meter is from Robin Vincent of Molten Modular and Bafaco. It takes that classic modular utility section, whether it's the surge control processor or many of the variants we've seen across various formats, where we have things like mixing, attenuation, inversion, and offset generation. Adds a lovely blinking set of LEDs with audio VU metering and CV generation and CV metering. And as people collaborate to bring modules to life, it's interesting to know where they came from. So let's jump over to the shed with Robin and ask where this idea came from. Hi Ben, and thanks for the question. Why? Why did I make this module? Well, honestly, it came about through a desire to visualize stuff. Because I come very much from a software background and in software, you get to animate knobs, you get to animate modulation and show it like a halo going around knobs and moving about. And that is lost when you move to hardware. And I found it, it difficult to always trace what my modulation was doing and thought it would be enormously helpful to see stuff. I mean, I know you're supposed to listen to everything and be able to identify perfectly exactly what is going on. But that's not really my experience. I find that in a busy patch, particularly in live performance, it just gets lost. I don't know what's going on. And so some something which would give me an indication, a more visual representation of the modulation that I could reach out and find and change and adjust to me seemed like an awesome tool. And then, you know, mix in a few other little bits and pieces and, and features and voila, you have the molten motion meter. So looking at the motion meter, we can see it's a free channel device with free inputs that normalize to 10 volts. So we can create offset voltages when no audio or CV is present. We have free lots of processing and free outputs. And the third output there will mix any output that you don't patch. And with the switches up, we have an audio mode. And these LED rings give us a VU meter and they're measuring the power of a signal as opposed to the peak level. And they've got that kind of lovely bounce that an audio meter would have. Going into CV attenuator mode, we can create a voltage with that input and attenuate it here or attenuate an actual input from another module. And those pinky purple LEDs show a positive voltage. We have an inverter on this CV invert mode, and we get an orange voltage to show negative voltages there. So rather than having an attenuverter where the signal would be off in the middle and then positive going attenuation or negative going clockwise or anti-clockwise, you have full range attenuation and full knob turn range negative inverted attenuation. Output free will mix any unused outputs there. And the activity around that third channel is always showing that mix of voltages. So if I was to mix some negative voltage with some positive voltage, we can see how patching output one will remove this negative voltage from the mix. And patching out of output two is removing that voltage. Now I have five patches to show off these lovely blinky lights. And these five patches show different ways of really bringing these utilities to life. That timing index has been on screen, so skip around if you like, and let's dive in.
molten meter as an audio meter. It's a perfect pairing for mutes there where I can mute these parts of the patch. First the sounds come into mutes, then into molten modular kick. Snare. Hats. And my bass, which has been mixed externally. And I'm coming out of all three channels separately to go to separate effects, rather than to actually mix down on the module, which of course is a handy feature. I could just mix my drums on there. Just a handy visual. I can treat them like mutes. Just kind of throwing them around, like I say, as mutes, almost like you throw a fader. If you're a Patreon supporter, I'll do an exclusive rundown of this whole patch if you're curious about the effects, the routing, maybe the free body patching and the sequencing. So I'll be honest, part of making this patch was just to watch Oct LFOs dance around. It's its own lovely little blinking light show, and it's self-modulated, self-patched for some wave shaping. But it looks great dancing around on these bipolar LED meters. But of course, we can use this as an attenuator, which is massively handy here. The bottom LFO, and this yellow trace is modulating panning, or rather the skewing of a filter, so it gets brighter to the left and brighter to the right, kind of seesawing these frequencies. Think of it like a filter pan, if you like. This is then some phase and FM modulation. This is as well. These are really harsh, kind of nice crunchy digital sounds. So we can back those modulations off. Really kind of dial in this modulation. So here I'm using the motion meter as a modulation mixer. Now this is the kind of default state of my patch, it's a square wave into a filter, into a VCA, really basic kind of subtractive mono voice. And here's opening my filter a little bit. And I'm mixing an envelope on this top channel, a sequence on the middle channel, and I'm using an offset to be able to offset this voltage, it effectively acts like another control just for the filter's cutoff. However, we'll be inverting that modulation and using it to negatively offset and pull down this mix of modulation that I create. So we'll start by using this sequence to modulate my filter's cutoff. And as I'm not coming out of channel one or two, these sum down and mix in channel three here, so you can see the activity on that bottom LED ring. Let's add to this a little bit of this envelope. all mixing down out of that third output and in CV invert mode I can then bring some negative voltage in and that's due to these normalized 10 volts that we get on all the inputs if we don't plug anything in and mixing modulation is absolutely one of my favorite things about modular so while it may seem like a simple utility, regardless of the nice LED rings, being able to mix some voltages and offset them, it's kind of like just a key function of being able to utility mess with your voltages. It's what modular is about. So here I'm using the motion meter to invert and offset a CV so it's suitable for creating this side chain and this modulation. This top channel is just an indication of my kick drum. It's an envelope playing in time with the kick, but it's doing nothing in the patch. Just a nice visual there. Now I have the same envelope patched into the second input and in that normal CV mode, outputting this linear wave, just a kind of basic decay envelope, which opens a VCA and modulates a load of FM and complex modulation. Now if I wanted to sidechain this, I could invert this envelope. So I'll go to CV invert, and it does invert that envelope, but now there's no voltage to actually open anything up. It's a zero and under, 
as opposed to at zero and going up. So by mixing, and I'll go to channel three to do this, notice this now shows what's going on, it's the output. And seeing as nothing's in two, it's normalizing down, giving us this mix. I can first create an offset. So I'll go to CV attenuation there, 10 volt normalization. This opens my VCA and modulation. And then when I add my inverted envelope, that's going to duck back down towards that zero point, that blue line. So I've inverted my envelope and offset the envelope, suitable to create a side chain. So here I'm playing with visualizing feedback and controlling and creating feedback loops in this kind of nice murky lo-fi dual effect space that I find myself in. Now here's my dry sound, very simple little plucked melodic part. Now that dry sound comes into this effects aid module for some reverb. The reverb never touches this feedback because we have a delay line going and we're creating feedback. Now this mixer on channel 2 takes a split of that dry signal. The output, channel 3 here, the mixed output, feeds my delay module which is just off screen. So you can hear a single repeat there when I let some of this dry sound hit the delay. There it is without. Dry sound in this mixer here, split of it being fed to a delay. Single repeat, no feedback, basic delay. I'm splitting the delay's output. One of them goes to my mixer so we can hear it, and another one comes back to channel 3. So as I crank up channel 3, this will start to feed this split of the delay back on itself, as well as the dry sound. And we can see that feedback build up. Let's totally mute the dry sound in my mixer here. This is just the feedback, just this delay. Let's add some sound back into it. So visualizing this feedback building up, we can see it start to hang around on these VU meters. And with this mixer being this feedback loop around the delay, we can have our dry sound, do we add reverb to? Have a delay layer by feeding some of this without the reverb to the delay. and then feedback around that delay. So thanks for checking out this video on the motion meter from Molten Modular and Mafaco. Hope that's highlighted how kind of key and important utilities are to Modular and given you some ideas that you can try in your own systems. If you want a full patch breakdown for that first patch, and God free body sounded good in that first patch, that's exclusive for Patreon supporters and you'll find that linked in the description where you'll also gain access to the DivKid Discord community, more exclusive videos, PDF patch books and lots more. Hit like, subscribe, all the usual end of video gabber and I'll see you next time. Bye.